Hello everyone, my name is Warby Warburton. I'm a tech marketing engineer at Palto Networks and today I want to continue our conversation on how to secure the data center, specifically around how to leverage the flexibility and availability of the public cloud without sacrificing our security that we've already built in our own data center. I'm going to begin by drawing where we left off previously with our private data center and then add on uh, public cloud resources extending our existing security into the cloud. Okay, now we have the data center where we left off in the last set of videos. Uh, in this case, I have a colo that's connected remotely to my headquarters location using VPN tunnels. And I've got a three-tiered application structure with app, web, and database servers. And I've got virtual firewalls protecting the traffic between the application tiers and physical firewalls protecting the traffic in and out of the data center. Next, I want to talk about some of the use cases for using public cloud. Uh, for example, if your compute varies widely during different times of the year, maybe fiscal year processing, or you're an online retailer and you have big spikes uh, of usage during the Christmas season, rather than invest in hardware that sits unused for most of the year in your data center, you can expand and burst into the public cloud and use that temporary resource. Another example is you may have a project that's temporary where you need to do test and development work. Again, it's not a year-round effort. You don't want to have permanent hardware investment, so use the public cloud, and you can quickly scale up for that project and just tear it down when the project is done. Additionally, the public cloud has a global presence, which is very advantageous for things like a, a global remote access solution like our Global Protect. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw our public cloud, and as an example, we'll have two availability zones. And in my case, let's say my database tier is quite busy and I need to ramp up to handle additional processing. So I'm gonna deploy additional database servers into the public cloud. And I'm gonna put them in different availability zones for maximum uh, redundancy. But I don't want to simply put this resource in the cloud and not have the same security enforcement that I had in my private data center. So I'm gonna deploy virtual firewalls in this location as well. Now what I can do is I can connect these virtual firewalls into my existing infrastructure and I can manage it from a central point. So I'm gonna do the same kind of VPNs I did to connect my corporate site and my panorama instance at the data center can still manage these firewalls. These firewalls will actually be in a different device group so that I can do unique policy specific for the cloud, but they will, it'll be the same panorama. I can share objects, things like dynamic address groups. So for example, a new database server spins up, I can learn about that dynamically, both in the cloud and my physical firewalls at the private data center. The other advantage to this solution is I don't have to sacrifice on the policy here. I can do things like user ID, so a remote, a remote IT resource can still connect in and do things like RDP and SSH, but other users at headquarters or out in your customer air space would not have the same uh, application access. I still can use app ID, so I can limit the traffic, for example, from this web server to this database server to just MSSQL, for example. In addition to app ID and user ID, I also want to have all my threat protection for both known and unknown threats. Things like wildfire absolutely make sense in this environment. And I can use a combination of the Amazon AWS API and the PanOS API in the firewall to automate many of the tasks in this environment so I can quickly spin up and spin down resources and secure those, including the firewall itself, can be spun up automatically. So, we now have an environment where we have central management and logging with Panorama. We can manage all of our firewalls in different device groups, but with common elements like dynamic address groups. We can scale up and scale down very quickly. We can burst things like a database tier into the AWS public cloud and scale it back down when it's not needed without any permanent investment in hardware. 
and we don't have to sacrifice any security. All of the next generation security features at our private data center are available in the public cloud. For more information about how we secure public and private clouds, please go to our website, www.paloaltonetworks.com.